We are sitting in the airport. Yes, we are in public. This is proof to do what scares you. This doesn't necessarily scare me. I've just never done it before. So of course, the first thought in my mind is people walking by are gonna be like, this girl, she thinks she's a YouTuber. But I am, because you're on YouTube watching this. So I don't know, it's just, you know, it's just a nice feeling to just do the thing that is so big in your head until you actually do it. Then you think, wow, it's really not as big as I thought it was. <laughs> like, I'm sure right there. It's probably a moment in time for them. They're like, okay, some girl's got her camera set up in the airport, that's weird. But then they're gonna realize that they have to catch a flight in the next 60 seconds. So then that thought of me is no longer a thought. I thought the be delusional and do it scared message would read a lot better if you saw me literally being delusional and like, I'm not necessarily scared to be recording content in public. I just really don't like eyes on me. Sometimes I just kind of like to stay in my own world. So that's a little like, oh, okay, whatever. But again, this is a moment in time in a lot of people's days, including my own. Tomorrow I'm gonna be doing something completely different. So I'm not even really like concerned about the fact that like the family of four was like, she looks weird. Yeah, I do, but I don't care. It's fun. And matter of fact, I have honestly not, I have not felt more alive than I do right now. It's the small things like this that matter. And I think because I've done it so much in my room, I'm just used to talking to a camera. So the environment doesn't even really matter to me. So the point of the video is the more you do something, the easier it is to do it anywhere. And so I encourage you to do it in places that don't make you feel scared first. So the consistency becomes a habit. And then now that I've been consistent with it, it's easier to do it in public. I think it's a lot easier said than done, especially for people that have had different like life experiences where it's like, well, my family's always made fun of me and they always thought I couldn't do it. You can do whatever you put your mind to. Don't let someone's sole opinion at one moment in your life dictate if you're going to live the life you want to live, if that makes sense. Um, I'm doing a lot more of what I really want to do this year. I didn't even plan to take like a social media hiatus, but I kind of am. I haven't posted since last year. We're a couple months into the new year. And quite honestly, I haven't really had the time to just kind of like be on social life, be on social media outside of the podcast, um, cause that's something that I like doing. So I'm gonna prioritize it. I'm gonna make it a priority in my life. But as far as like hanging out with friends, you good? <laughs> it's my mom. It's not a random passenger, trust me. Uh, <laughs> That's kind of like the banter, that relationship that we have, so bear with me. Anyways, what was, what was my point? <laughs> oh, my point is, is if you're letting someone's sole opinion dictate how you live your life, you will, it will be a lot harder for you to make any kind of decision in your life as more decisions come where you're going to have to make them. The ones, the decisions that you make, say for example at work you have to make a decision between two options. At some point, you're going to have to make the decision. So apply that to the kind of life that you actually want to live too, not just the life that you're living to survive. The life that you want to live can be both survival and the life that you want to live. I talked a little bit more about it in the podcast last week about just kind of like getting out of your head because essentially you're your biggest enemy. And I, that like my whole 2022 was me realizing that, that it's really me versus me. So, you know, the more that I just decided to do things, even if I didn't know how to do it and just did it and failed at it first or had it suck first, I eventually wanted to keep doing it to get better and didn't even think I was doing it to get better. I was just doing it because I wanted to do it. Um, so you're practicing even if you don't know and know that practice never makes perfection, but practice makes progress because things can always be improved. So you can't put too much like stress on yourself either to always get it right or to know. And that's like a, really a reminder to myself because I think it's easier said than done because especially in the moment, it's easy for me to say it now when I have time to collect my thoughts. But when I'm in the heat of things, I need, I'll need to remember it more than right now. 
So I think the more that I reiterate the point and the more that I'm like self-aware about like what's going on and how I feel about it and how I'm responding to it, the more I'll actually start applying it in my life. But the fact that I know that it just takes time to be the kind of person that you want to become, that allows me to be kinder to myself and not beat myself up about it. I... I'm like so comfortable now. I have like nothing else really to say, but <laughs> I'm enjoying myself and that's all that matters. Moral of the story is if you're scared to do it, do it, even if it sucks. And if you don't know how to do it, research and see how other people have done what you want to do and then figure out what works best for you. It's the best place that I can put it. Um, but you start viewing life different. You start viewing life differently um, when you start putting yourself in positions that make you uncomfortable. And I guess I didn't even realize I am in a populated airport. So the sounds, I'm so used to like it being very quiet and now it's throwing me off. But you guys get to see me out of my element and that's more what I want to do this year. So this is just practice. Maybe I'm practicing to be on stage and talking to a group of people. I have no idea. Um, but that's the delusional part. That's the great part about it. I get to be delusional and think that that time is on its way because it is. I don't know in what capacity, but hopefully in a capacity that can help people and that it, you know, just really val it brings value to people's lives. So now I'm like visualizing myself doing it. So I don't know. Today is just more of like a chill podcast, not a specific topic, just more so the proof in the pudding. Like I'm in public, I'm making the video. It doesn't bother me and I just really want to be the example of what I talk about as well. I don't want to just talk about it. I'm also wanting to be about it, which means I have to put myself in uncomfortable spaces sometimes. Um, and I'm not necessarily uncomfortable. I just don't really know where this video is going, but it's going somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> Lately, I've been reevaluating the kind of lifestyle that I want to live and I've just realized that, wow, like life is only as hard as we make it in our heads. And so if I continue to be the proof of the lifestyle I want to live, it'll get easier and easier and easier the more that I implement the actual lifestyle that I want to live. It's kind of redundant, but again, repetition is key. It really is. But this week it's going to be more of like a reset for me. I'm going to try not to focus too much on like work related items, you know, personal items because even if it's not work related and things that other people are expecting from you sometimes the things that you want to do sometimes the things that you want to do are like a part of that even if other people aren't dependent on it you're still thinking to yourself oh i need to work out oh, i need to do this sometimes you just need some time to rest and so i am dedicating this week to either creating the content that i want to create with no deadlines with no timelines just creating the content and just taking the time to just be me, like be myself and just love where I'm at. Sometimes you don't really need a plan. And that is a big reminder to myself because I plan out everything in three different areas at all times in life. So the more time that I implement into my life to have moments where I sail off without a map, that's become one of like my favorite quotes so far. <laughs> That's become one of my favorite quotes so far is like sailing off without a map um, because it's a good reminder to not take life super seriously. Like at times, yes, you have goals and you have visions and dreams that take focus and dedication, but you also need time to live in your journey. Like you need time to actually process what's going on with you, what's happening like how life is making you feel so that you don't realize okay January I started and I want to reach my goals and the next thing you know it's June and you can't even remember what your day-to-day -day looks like because you're so focused on getting to the goal sometimes just stopping and enjoying the journey is the best thing that you can do for yourself and it'll help you like recollect your thought process around life in general where you're at the people in your life the environments that you're soaking yourself in and sometimes it can stop you it can stop something before it happens. So it can stop you from being in a space of like, okay, I'm feeling burned out. I don't really know what I'm doing. Moments like these allow you to just hit reset. So if you feel like you've been going, 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 literally schedule in time to not go, go, go. I purposely didn't bring my personal laptop because I do not want to focus on it. I only brought my work laptop because during the hours that I'm needed, before I'm out of office, I would do what's expected of me. 
But outside of that, I will do what makes me feel comfortable and what makes me relax and wind down. And if it is still creating content, just not in the space of, you know, deadlines and timelines, great, I'll do that. And the great thing about doing what you want to do is nobody kind of wants to be in a video. So everyone has kind of just found themselves around the video and outside of the video. So it's really cool. You do things and you just keep doing them. So hopefully this relaxing podcast that hopefully went somewhere in the midst of things. I'm staring at the sunset. So um, yeah, just letting life be life and doing more things that uh, make me uncomfortable because nothing really scares me. I just think about how would I feel in the moment? And I feel great. I'm really glad that I did this and I plan to keep doing this. So expect more external content in the future. And um, if you are challenged by doing something like this, like this looks crazy to you, you can literally start small and then build yourself up. I've been creating videos in my room for the last four months. This is a result of four months. This didn't just happen today. So don't put too much pressure on yourself and continue just doing what you know how to do today and know that you'll know how to do more tomorrow. But I appreciate you guys tuning in on this airport podcast. I love the vibes, love the fit. Look at my shoes. <laughs> Cute. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Party of One Podcast. Peace.